Our next season at Dundee Rep is full with dance. Dance for the curious, for dance lovers, and for those who've never seen dance or think it's not for them. This season brings together everything I love about a repertory dance company. We are revisiting some of our favorite works. We are inviting internationally acclaimed choreographers to work with the company, and we are showcasing the in-house choreographic talent of the company. We start the season at the Edinburgh Festival Fringe with Antigone Interrupted as part of the Made in Scotland Showcase at DanceBase, Scotland's National Centre for Dance. This dance theatre production reimagines the Greek tragedy of Antigone for our contemporary world through the body and the voice of a single performer, Selene Weinachter. Antigone Interrupted packs all the passion, big ideas and drama of a Greek tragedy in a one-woman show. This autumn, we are back on stage at Dundee Rep with a double bill with two audience favorites, Ritualia by Colette Sattler and The Circle from Emmanuel Gatt. Ritualia reimagines the powerful Stravinsky score of Lenos, and we see the dancers becoming these androgynous creatures inhabiting this surreal visual world. The Circle is a visually striking and dynamic piece where the dancers are taking split-second decisions to create choreographic patterns live on stage every night. They are wearing wearable art costumes by Thomas Bradley that are made from upcycled costumes here from our wardrobe at Dundee Rep. We'll be performing Ray, Scottish Dance Theatre latest creation by Metal Blanaru here in Dundee as part of the Festival of the Future and also on the road on tour across the UK. Ray creates a really special environment where the audience sits around the performers and it's a combination of playfulness with a very specific and sophisticated movement language from Metal. Thina's Hair is a solo work by Pauline Torzoli created with and for dancer Joske Cusano. Pauline was inspired by two natural phenomena, it la okla and hair eyes, and from there she created a really poetic and visual world where she plays with the materials to show us the journey of a man from a scientist to the spirit of a tree. I am super excited to be working this spring with Rosé López Espinosa in the restaging of The Flock, which will be seen for the first time here in the UK. The piece features Rosé's dynamic partnering work and is inspired by our desire to fly and break free. And for the end of the season, well, we've got a surprise for our audiences, uh, but the only thing I'm going to say just now is one word. Pirates.